Good afternoon, everyone. These are the events happening across our planet midwinter 2019. Good afternoon, everyone. Ocasio Cortez, been talking about the Green Deal. Want to renew America's infrastructure completely to wind turbines and solar panels. Direct message to Ocasio Cortez. I've just been up in the Zagreb Nikola Tesla laboratory and I saw 18 different free power devices that utilize Earth's magnetic field to generate power. It can be done locally for local neighborhoods, local cities. If you start to talk about this, even though our politics are incredibly different, I will support that. If I see you on the floor of the house pushing for the release of these patents that Nikola Tesla has at the very beginning, and talking about gravitational vortex power, which is a one to two cubic meter per second flow in a circular basin that can produce power locally, I'll support that. If you talk about Marconi, Brown, and Rife devices with the electrogravitics that produce free power locally, I'll support that. But so far, all I've ever heard is wind turbines, solar panels. That's a great idea, but during times of low solar activity, as we're forecast to go into the lowest solar activity in the last 400 years, there's declines in the total solar irradiance, meaning how much sunlight can strike those solar panels, not only through the Oort minimum, but the Wolf minimum, Maunder minimum, significant drops. You have the loss over time of efficiency just in the industry standards. That's the thing, every grand solar minimum, there's more volcanic eruptions. We can go back into the BC era. We can take it all the way through the last 2000 years. Whenever there's low solar activity, we get major volcanic eruptions and more dust in the atmosphere, thereby reducing solar output even further in the panels. Look at Krakatoa, that was a huge eruption. Soputan, Etna, Steamboat Geyser, the most active it's been on record. We even have massive eruptions on Jupiter's moon Io. This is all forecast heading into the grand solar minimum that's going to affect crop production as well. I am shocked that the politicians in our day and age are not bringing this to the forefront. Now Ocasio-Cortez, I'm not sure if you just don't know about these devices or if you just don't want to talk about them. I'm not sure. I really don't know. That's why I want to present this to you so you can go ahead and if I see you actually present this and put your impetus behind it to get it on the floor in any part of our American government, I will support that. winter storm sweeping across Amman, Jordan, half a foot of snow in some places, Etna erupting yet again, lightning storms off of Malta, Moscow thunderstorms in a blizzard, the rainbow ribbon of destruction visible, Astana heads up, this is going to amplify by the time it reaches midsection of Kazakhstan. A couple of messages from Dallas and Ice Age Farmer said, hey, one of your videos is on Australian Newsfeed. I'm so glad they posted this video about snows in Greece, down to the beaches in Italy, because it's from 2017. And since that time, it's been a trend. 2018, Italian beaches freeze again. Snow in Greece and Morocco. And then we had the super freeze. And this is how much snow has come down this latest storm. The reduction in solar activity expected to mimic something like the Maunder Minimum, 1600s. Look how much snow, even that snow plow in the center having difficulty. Weight loads on the roofs, troublesome at the moment. Snow on the tracks, well they have to clear through 15 feet in some places. Ski jumping competition canceled, too much snow. Romanian winter scenes, the depths in Turkey, and the wider these lines are on the chart the more the magnetic fields in the sun are canceling themselves out. We're just at the cusp of the beginning of the heavy changes, the real intensities coming in 2021 during this first cycle of two waves. Australians boiling like frogs in a pot. According to the BOM, I guess they'll need to average these cold temperatures for the month. Boston breaking cold records back to 1872. 
Cold records sweeping across the Midwest. Winter storm warnings out. And those of you in North America, cold that you've been experiencing over the last couple of days is going to morph into this, even colder by the end of the month. Now we have matchups with record cold and record snow in three locations on this Maunder Minimum Temperature Reconstruction Map. And this is matching nicely with the entry into the new Grand Solar Minimum. Media coming out with the same narrative. 12 years, we're doomed. Climate change. Let's look at the climate change that's happened in Switzerland over the years. Coats of arms in the cathedrals of Croatia. The cycles in time, the numbers in the cycles. And perhaps the prior civilization encoded their technology in myth legend and religion. Texas power prices 4x up due to extreme cold. Looks like this on the map but if you thought that's cold just wait until the 31st. Coldest snowstorm in over a hundred years for Ottawa. Montreal seeing the exact same. Hasn't been this cold and snowy since 1920. Even almost breaking into the top. Longest wind chill record. Power demand so high that Quebec now asking people to turn down their power, as well as others already lost power in the storm. And suddenly, these blue roots. Those in major economies saying no thanks to the global carbon tax. Stories trying to explain the extremes on our planet are because of CO2. When we compare hottest years, well, there is some discrepancy. In the Northern Hemisphere, it isn't the warmest ever, even after 1,200 years of record. This is an emergency message. If you are anywhere in the north, northeast border with Canada, these warnings are real and it's the coldest temperatures that you have experienced in your entire lifetime. In-depth analysis in this video of where this storm is going to track, how cold it's going to get. These wind chills are ridiculous at 70 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. And looking at the actual ground temperatures, they're looking at minus 40 degrees to minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Going to take you through the track of the storm, that dark green. Power grids are very possibly going to go down during this event due to so much draw. The green is the most intense. Purple would on its own be a severe storm and cold warning, but this is something that we have not seen yet. The intensification of the grand solar minimum is here. You're going to need emergency measures and you should be preparing, I mean right now, if your power goes out, you're literally going to have minutes to get down to the basement and try to keep yourselves in a single room so you do not freeze to death in your homes. I personally feel the media is downplaying the severity of the event, even using catchphrases as temporary icy cold doesn't disprove global warming, but the sun is decreasing in its activity state and these are the types of storms to be expected from this point forward. And it's going to get more intense next year and the following year in 2021. And our crops are going to be affected. They already are being. Here's the timeline going out. We just did, moved into the green 2019. The intensity ramp up needs to come another two or three times up from all the changes you've seen over the last four to five years. This is an indicator. The media is trying to have you believe it's only in the United States, but the exact same thing is happening over Europe. And Ryan Maui has dubbed it as Barney Freeze because there's so much purple on all the maps that you're looking at. I'm looking at Grand Solar Minimum Cold. Click to subscribe and follow ADAPT2030 through the social media and YouTube to get more information on why this is happening and how it's going to affect your lives, your families as we move forward through the next five years of Grand Solar Minimum Intensification. The multi-generational freeze continues, going to give you the updates exactly where the cold is, Midwest Plains states, Great Lakes. Looking at about a 45-hour event, there's missing data with record cold temperatures up around in Chicago. This is going to extend all the way through the 31st, and it looks like the line is going to be somewhere south of Indiana. Winter storm warnings through Mississippi and Alabama. Lake Erie in 10 days gaining 68% ice coverage. We'll take a look at the water spouts in Greece. Winter weather advisory. Extreme cold for New York and the New England states. Remnants of the super freeze. All-time historic cold event sweeping east out into the Atlantic. 
We're going to take a look at the record lows that have come in so far, still being compiled on that. But the media is going to focus on the heat abnormal that's coming through next week. But keep in mind, there's another polar freeze coming the week after next. All-time record lows in Illinois, Iowa, Minnesota, North Dakota, Wisconsin, Indiana, Detroit. All the major population centers on this map. And during the super freeze, urgent pleas to customers to turn down their thermostats. All-time record demand. Heating companies jacking up prices for electricity and natural gas. Billions lost during this storm. Travel bans. Power outages. But nobody seems to look back at the last 10,000 years of temperature. We're over on the right. It's been warmer several times before, and we're predicted to go even cooler as we enter this grand solar minimum. So events like this super freeze are going to happen yearly from this point forward. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. If you'd like more information on the grand solar minimum, 30 minutes at a time on the go, mini Ice Age Conversations podcast, anywhere podcasts are hosted across the net. And if you like your information in snippets of one minute or under, the Adapt 2030 social media feeds.